Hey guys, it's me, Professor Brilliant. I'm in a nice park here in Japan. I don't want to say the name of this park. And today we're going to look for bugs. It's a nice March day. It's a very hot. So I wear, so that's why I've got a bug net here. And why I came here to make this video is because last time I came here, I seen a centipede. Centipedes are these large insects with with 26 rows of legs and they also are very fast. They are poisonous, but I don't care if it's poisonous, I just care if I can catch it. So there's a butterfly there and I'm gonna show you how I usually catch those butterflies. Course, it may escape, it may escape, but also when I catch it, hey, it's gone. There was a nice butterfly, but then it got away. And though, even though that wasn't the butterfly I was looking for. It was still a very nice butterfly. Well, maybe I'll have another chance. There is one, but that, and there is one over there, but that will be hard to catch because it's gone away. I caught a butterfly. Let's see it. Isn't this a, a magnificent butterfly? Of course, this is a moth, so I'll have to wash my hands. Go back to bug hunting. Mm. Oh, there she is. I've accidentally damaged her wings. So I so I need to say sorry to this butterfly, but oh well. She can hardly fly. How this butterfly can hardly fly. Let's leave this butterfly alone. Watch us. So, now we're not talking about butterflies, but we're talking about land creatures, such as ants. Ants work hard. They 
one of them can carry the stuff twice their own size or even three times for one ant and there was one over here now ants use their front jaws to catch food so they are rewarded for for working that hard now you know my name is Prof Brilliant but this is a that real ants work harder than you suppose. For example, this little ant is looking for something to carry back to her lair. Oh, and this ant is carrying a rock in his mouth. And this is the ant home where they carry their stuff. Well, last night there was a rainstorm, so they're taking out all the rain, the damages the rain made. Ants have to build new has to fix their layers every day. It's a lot of hard work, but we should appreciate the ants and do the same for our lives. Guys, even though it's March, look at these mantis babies. Let's take some home. I'll pack a lot. I'll. Tr they all look. This is the first time I've filmed mantis being hatched from their eggs. It's their birth year. Yeah. Now this look. Now mantises usually set up an ambush and stay where they usually are. But I'm gonna take a few home, few of them home. And it's a good thing we have loads of food. Okay, so these mantises are going to have a hard time living, so they're going to live with me, most of them. And, and this is really important for man, and this is really important when you're caring for a mantis. Now baby mantises may look Usually, baby mantises stay together when they are first born. Uh oh, there's, there's a net here. There's a spider net here. You should, this spider should be ashamed of himself trying to eat these babies.
We've got one in, a few more to go. They look, this one is so full of strength and energy. Oh, pig. No, 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 no. Hi! Ah, oh, she jumped back, back into the spot. Ah, there he goes. Now they're, now they'll be difficult to take out, but I'm gonna give it a go. But have any of you noticed that mantises are born yellow? Caught one. This one looks like a female. I mean, this one doesn't try to fly. I mean, here's a way how to find out female mantises and male mantises. Now this one is, now she just, now this one just climbed onto my hand rather than just jumped on my hand. So this means that this is a female. I'll close the lid a bit, and then I'll catch more. Oh. Now the mantis that I found is none other than the usual Tenodera sinensis. Uh oh. He fell. Where did he go? There you are. So it's two out of a twelve hundred. So this is two out of a hundred. <laughs> Another romance is all over. He did a backflip, this one. Oh, look, there's another one trying to escape. Well, this one's a male, well, this one's a female. He jumped, so this one's a male.
So there's still a lot of bugs and this is one of them and I go one good thing is there's a fruit I have fruit flies in my house so I can breed these to the adulthood if I can do my best. It's usually July or August when they're adults. So I'm sorry that I couldn't find the centipede that I was looking for, but I did catch two butterflies. I found an ant, and now I've showed you mantises. But I hope for another chance to find the, that centipede that I was looking for. So this was Professor Brilliant again, and I and please consider subscribing. Bye. So this is a follow-up of the centipede video, and after a month, I finally found it. He's, he's in a small room about a quarter larger than him, but this time I'm going to make his home twice as larger. Now they like crickets and worms, but I'm going to feed them cockroaches, but cri at least crickets and cockroaches are the same family, so at least this is not bad for a, for a, for a centipede's diet and nutrition. You use, you use gravel, I'll use gravel for the home, and I need a star, scissors. Now I open the hole. Okay. No, I'm not gonna fill it all up. Shall this be enough? Okay, now this should be enough. And now I'm going to... And now I don't spray it. Now I put this food, vegetable soil in. Now really the soil is looking very nice. Now I'm gonna put the millipede in, but I'm gonna but I want to add some moss. These are the touching ups for my millipede for my centipede's home. Okay, now this should look nice. Now there's now this soil is slightly different, but oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. And I must deal about the sticks as well. So I got this rock here, and I'm gonna put it in here, or I should first use this stick and make a little hole here. And then put this in. And and millipedes actually can tunnel under here. They can hide under here so they can have a little restment here. And and I'll open a little hole here. Put the rock under the moss. Under this moss. And this one over here. And I'll put the stick here and 
Now this looks like a nice terrarium. Now to put our centipede in. Whoa! He likes it. And before we put him away, we need to feed him. Using... Using red roaches. Okay. And and I'll just put a and I think this is gonna be enough. Okay. And finally, the tour of the terrarium. I just need this a sprayer, and it's centipede. Now, I'm getting this confusedly mixed up, centipede and millipede. Now, centipedes need, lo need loads of humidity in just one day. You need to spray them so many times every day. Okay, the centipede's home is like this. And I enjoyed making the centipede's home just as much as I made the millipede's home. Okay, I'm going to spray this about 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. I have to do this every day, what I just did now. But at least I have good, so good food. And... This this centipede is large, so he may eat it in seconds or minutes. So, this was Professor Brilliant again. Bye!